this right here is one of my favorite use. She seems to be holding good body condition just on grass alone. And she's given a gallon a day, once a day milking. Honestly, I wish she'd give maybe just a little bit less. I just don't want her to sacrifice her body condition for milk. I want her to be healthy. But she does a really good job. Plus she drops her milk really good. She looks good right now. She's got her sheared. I'm a little behind the eight ball on shearing all these guys. So actually you could take it as soon as you're done melting and it would be the right temp to run through the things up later. Alright, so we have our sheet milk in there. We're in between 90 and 100 degrees. Starting to build up here a little bit. This is out of six gallons of sheep's milk. We're almost done. I have one quart of cream cooling down in the freezer. Looks like we might get two quarts of cream, I'm hoping. So you can see here, that's the cream line since the milk separating naturally, even though sheep's milk is considered naturally homogenized, so it doesn't separate, eventually it will. When we were milking our cows, you'd have that cream line in six to 12 hours. It was crazy. So last year, we were just skimming the cream off the top, but you're not getting it all that way. This is gonna get all the cream as thick or as thin as we want. Now, the biggest thing about the cream separator is the mess. I'm not talking the jars, the jars we'd have to clean anyway. But the cream separator itself, we gotta take apart completely. And there's a bunch of different cups, I guess you'd call them. I'm not sure what you'd call them. Inside of there that line up. So we gotta take all those apart and clean them all individually. Clean the whole thing out, sanitize it, and get it ready for the next time. So it is quite an ordeal to clean it. So that's why we're choosing to cool all the milk right after milking and save it up for three or four days and then cream separate a bunch of it at once. If I got more sheep, I definitely think it would be better to just cream separate as you milk. Then you don't have to heat it back up. But I would need quite a few more sheep before I would think about doing that. So this is what we got going on right now for sheep milking and dairy purposes. 